Jewish. I'm a messy guy, okay? <laughs> oh, something has gone awry. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become sexy sandwiches. And please welcome, for the first time in the Mythical Kitchen, we got Owen Hahn and Salt Hank in the house. Two people, two sexy people known for their sexy sandwiches. Roll the clips. Wow, those sandwiches sure were sexy. So today, what we thought we'd do, Nicole and I would pair up with one of them, except we already know who we're pairing up with because when we said, yo, o Owen and Salt Hank are coming, Nicole just went, I want Salt Hank. Aww. So, uh, Thanks. Oh, and I don't know what it's about. What it is about you, but uh, that was so Nicole, natural. That, that was so other, natural. We don't need them. We got each other, just like it's always been. Me and Owen. Also, there's some like photos of us cannonballing into a pool that a Facebook photographer won't release to us, and I really want them. I'll message. <laughs> I don't know where to find. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna go first. We're gonna cook our sexy sandwich first. And yeah. Then we're gonna beat, beat you down into the ground. We're gonna go sit over there and jeer at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like how you're gonna do some it. chirping. Dude. Yeah, we're gonna chirp and jeer. Yeah. Okay, man, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. You remember the handshake? Wait, do we have a handshake? Yeah, we can make one. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just shook hands. The first video I ever saw of yours, it was the butter chicken. Butter chicken burrito. Uh, I love burritos. I love Indian food. My favorite sandwich of all time is called a torta ahogada. It's from Guadalajara, Jalisco. It literally means drowned sandwich. So I'm thinking we take some Indian flavors, we make like a lamb vindaloo situation, drown that in a sandwich, and then we use that to like ultimately fulfill our self esteems by tearing other people down in the process. Let's do it. Hell yeah, I'm not losing <laughs> to a guy named Hank. His name is Hank. Name. Bro, it's not, Hank was a strong name in like 1974, you know, like. Joshua. Yeah, it's a That's Hebrew a name. Okay, That's enough, enough name. fighting, we gotta get to cooking. All right, so we got a bunch of lamb shank right here. It's been shaved a little bit thin. Uh, we got some toasted spices here. We got cardamom, we got black mustard, we got cinnamon. I'm gonna grind that up. Uh, you are gonna take all the aromatics. So you're gonna take the onion, the red chili, tamarind, garlic, all that stuff. Throw it in the food processor, blend it up. You start building some flavor, baby. Let's do it. All right. How do I? Getting some deep. Yo, you do not ask me. No, no, no. Don't you laugh at him. It's tough because we face everything to the camera so you can never see what's going on. This just proves I'm not stupid. Well, maybe both of us are stupid. What's your like, what's like the smartest thing you do? Uh, I read recipes. Oh, tough look. That's good. <laughs> That's good, man. And books. What kind of books? Oh no, oh no, oh it's too long. What's the last book you read? Uh, I, name, I'm name trying, a book. I'm only trying to come up with one tonight. They, they are think. in your head. Um, Do not look at them. Ernest Hemingway. Oh, yeah. That's a man, that's the name of a man. Best way to open up garlic, you take it. I don't know what you do in your kitchen, but I always take it. And then I employ the palm heel strike. This is uh, uh, a move invented by uh, Boss Rutan, a Dutch MMA fighter. So you're gonna take the brunt heel of your palm, stack the elbow over it, and go, ice! And then boom, smash. You, you, you do that, Hank? Oh, huh? those weak wrists! All right, check on these spices. Give that, no, we're doing great. All right, we're gonna add this to hot oil. So this is, uh, hey! there it is! Look at that. There it is, and it's stuck on my hand. Cast him in Cobra Kai, he can play down to 16. All right, so we're gonna toast spices in the oil. This is a uh, technique in Indian cookery called making a tarka, which uh, really like allows all of the spices to bloom in there and actually like infuse into the rest of the dish. And then we're gonna add all the aromatics once they're blended. Oh, I swear to God, you gotta work fast, buddy. You gotta work fast. Here. So oh, this is red cashmere chili powder. Uh, this is gonna make the vindaloo like super spicy, really nice, bright and red. Let me just do that in there. Oh no. I feel like this is a moment where I gotta let Owen, you know, yeah, we go. help himself and figure it out. There it is. I feel like we're cut from the same cloth. One, both athletes, two, both incredibly handsome and probably getting an equal amount of DMs asking for a hand in marriage. So we got the spices nice and toasty. Dump all the aromatics in here. This is gonna be the curry paste. And then we're just gonna cook this down. Hell yeah, that's the sound that you wanna hear. You ever heard sizzling aromatics like that? Of course. Yeah, where? Here, I work here. Name one book. All right, so we're just gonna cook this curry paste down for about five minutes, then we're gonna add the lamb into it and then braise it up. Secret handshake. <laughs> we have lamb tallow. We're taking inspiration from carnitas, which is like a whole pig cooked down in its own fat, right? So now we're taking this braised lamb shank that's all aromatic smell at. It's gonna make you smell stuff. I like it. It's good stuff. 
And we're just gonna drop this. You actually smell the tamarind in there, which is cool. We're gonna drop it in there and we're gonna perfume the lamb tallow with some onions right here. And we're just gonna fry this off till it's crispy. And then this we're gonna hack up and you're gonna use just those big old manly heat resistant hands to just shred it just straight up, man. Love it. It's because it's gonna be a show of dominance to them. Okay, you know? Yeah. Do you think you're a stronger cook than Hank? Yeah. Like, no, right? Yeah, 100%. He does yeah. stunt food. He literally, like, <laughs> everything he makes so is, not. it's just fried. Yeah, I do it awesome. Yeah, yeah, wait, don't knock fried food, though. That's, no, that's, I love it. I love yeah, it. That's my career. That's saying, my career. Now you're in, coming to me. No, no, now no. you're coming to me. In terms of, like, <laughs> skill, <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> that's not true. That is not true. That's not true. <laughs> This is looking super crispy. It is like, I mean, incredibly perfumed. Am I yeah. just like ripping this yeah, apart? Yeah, bare Actually, I mean, it is really, oh, did not show weakness. This is burning my hands though. <laughs> Does pain exist in this dojo? No. Dang it, man. I don't know who's half lemon in a bag this is, but I'm squeezing it on a lamb. All right. I want to try this, man. You just grab a little bit. That's nice. I mean, after I'm gonna take. I don't want to do it here. There's a little bit of grease right here. A little bit of grease. I don't want to do it now. <laughs> there it is. War paint. No, I don't know about that. Yeah, no, it clogs the pores immediately. Chutney time, mother fudgers. I don't know why I immediately started with that. We're making chutney though, which is Sweet. pretty cool. So we're making the green Indian chutney, except we're gonna add some habanero to it. This is called hari. You see it in like tons of Indian restaurants. They're serving it with samosas. They're serving it with chai. We're serving it with, what's their sandwich called? Lamb. <laughs> Torta <laughs> soup. Two more words. Lamb torta avocado. Yes, lamb name torta name avocado. One book. Avocado. You can name one <laughs> book. <laughs> then we're also doing a pickled watermelon rind. So the torta avocado, typically served with either raw onions. Some places will throw pickled onions on top, but we're gonna make a pickled watermelon rind. You just shave off like the actual dark green skin, and then you're just left with this nice crunchy rind. It's pretty fun and fresh. So you're gonna throw in a quick pickling solution. And, and that's no waste. waste. And it, you no know, waste, that's very important to us. Me and Owen Han, eco warriors out here. You wanna go chain ourselves to like a tree? No. Like not one that's threatened to being cut down, just like any tree. Just vibe, just hang out. Spend some quality time together. If it's in the sun, sure. <laughs> not a sex thing. All right, cool. So we're gonna take, I said not, I said it's not. All right, so we're just gonna drop some water. We're making a pickling solution right here. Uh, uh, the Hank is the sloppiest pickler I've ever seen in my entire life. I know it's a bit, but Jesus Christ, the amount of pickling liquid that you spill all over your set, Hank, it is disrespectful. It's like when Bobby Flay, Bobby Flay climbed on top of Kitchen Stadium counter, Iron Chef. What? Look at what your partner's doing. I'm a messy guy, okay? Oh, something has gone awry. Something has gone awry. I was, I was fully in the zone. I'm just like, all right. It really goes against our no waste balls. <laughs> <laughs> now we gotta chain ourselves to two trees. Gosh, what? There it is. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, hands yeah. team. Hands that. team. Well, you don't talk at all in your videos. Is well, this weird having to like uh you 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 do like a mmm and then you like <laughs> you're kinda like <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of like it's not a that. shrug. It's like a mom who just bought like a Chip and Joanna Gaines collection pottery thing at Target. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna do the old oh. salt hand pour. Yeah, there, there it is. is. There it is. We got pickles. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, let's keep going. It'll get there. This tastes good. Do that. Kind of good actually. We got the chutney going, we got our sloppy ass salt hang pickles over here. Now all we gotta do, we gotta send these dang sandwich. Do it. All right, man, we got our avogada sauce right here. That just, it's so Unreal. weird. The smells, the sights, the sounds, where else would you rather be on Friday night? I don't know when you're watching, I don't really care. All right, so can you just hack up that with our big old meat cleaver? You start hacking them, just start raining a little lemon juice down there. Get some seeds in there for texture, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is all that lamb fat, basically emul emulsified into our vindaloo sauce. Try and put like a cool, lovely, lovely. And then, hell yeah, dude, like, dude look at that color. So this is called Birote Salado. This is from one of my favorite restaurants in North Hollywood. It's called Tortas Ahogadas La Ramadita. Uh, shout out to Selena, you're the boss. She gave me this, it's imported from Guadalajara. It's like a really like hard, salty sourdough. And it is freaking incredible. Here, just stuff. Yeah, dude, just don't be shy with it. Yes, sir. Just really pack it. Let me just manhandle that meat. Can we just, can we rest it like this? Oh, oh yeah. boy. Here, uh, finger out some of that watermelon, uh, the watermelon rind pickle. There it is. 
Hell yes. I'm just gonna like. Now you're really drowned the meat. So like I said, ahogada literally means drowned in Spanish. This is called a drowned sandwich. Holy smokes. If Danny Palumbo wasn't judging this, I might be nervous, but he's a man who knows how to get his hands dirty, if you know what I mean. And then I'm just gonna like, just kind of dot some around there. Just get some of the chutney on the plate. This is it, man. This is the lamb vindaloo torta ahogada carnitas pickled watermelon supreme surprise suck it salt Hank. Hey. Oh, to How me. Are you? I'm yeah. Great. Yeah, stoked yeah. to be here. Are you excited to make a sexy sandwich together? I'm so fired up. Okay, I before wait. we do that, I just have to do one thing. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Damn. Sorry, it was Should a sexy I do like sandwich. A yeah, movie yeah, yeah. Too? Do it, do it, do it straight to that camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, did you Did you see that giggle after he's like, uh -huh. Can you guys like full slow mo that? That was that? so natural. Yeah, I loved it. I'm embarrassed of that. We're going to be making a play on the beef katsu sandwich. We're going to be making a hanky panko. I'm so super excited about this. So we're going to start off with a compound butter. Go ahead. Okay. And start chopping. We have things like- She gave me this tool to use. I did. I wanted him to use a mezzaluna because it's just so pretty. So uh, we have anchovy, basil, parsley. We're going to add some garlic and some Calabrian chili pepper. Mm. How do you feel about katsu sandwiches, by the way? I them? love them. Yeah? Yeah, big fan. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think they're delicious. I think um, they're an underrated sandwich. Yeah, agreed. Katsu sauce is like one of my favorite sauces. And whenever, I know it's not like originally Hawaiian barbecue or maybe uh -huh. it is, but I always order a bunch of sides of katsu sauce. Yeah, 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 totally. So I'm just taking these beautiful tomatoes and I'm going to rub a bunch of miso marinade on there. It has soy sauce, it has honey, it has two kinds of miso. So what's the sexy sandwich you've ever made? Oh dear Lord, maybe that lamb burger. That lamb burger? People yeah, it's like iconic, honestly. Yeah. I went the first time I saw it, I was like, damn. Pretty freaking sexy. I'm just gonna put it It's, up. yeah, you squeeze it and it juices. So I'm just gonna let that kind of broil and get all nice and crispy on the sides. Do you want me to help you out with anything? Oh, uh, we're looking good. Yeah, That's good. Kind of chopping stuff. Did you see that ugly baked potato ass looking sandwich that they made? It looked like it was bleeding. It was really was ugly. Crazy. The fine baked potato is incredibly sexy. Yeah, housewives in Idaho. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> How do you feel talking um, to a camera? It's cool. This is much yeah. more of a production than uh, Owen or I have, but yeah. um, it's very exciting. How long does it take you to like make a sandwich? Uh, a TikTok or a sandwich? TikTok <laughs> takes like a whole day. Oh, really? One? Yeah. Add some Calabrian chilies in oh, there. Let's do it. Yeah, add like two Speak or three. Speaking my language. Or yeah, I'm trying to do like kind of a Italian inspired katsu sandwich. We're just gonna do little whispers of Italy throughout this <laughs> <laughs> sandwich. So you said it takes you a whole day to shoot one TikTok. Yeah, it takes a while because you got to move the camera around. We don't have like a, a video guy, really. You so. don't have a video guy? <laughs> now I do actually. Shout out uh, Jimmy Heaters. He'll be stoked on that shout out. I just hired a dude for it, so. Um, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. That's What's nice. up, my man? Come on the show, Jimmy. Just oh, kidding. is that a No, not okay. really. <laughs> I don't know who he is. <laughs> that looks great. Throw that bad boy in there. I think it's okay. perfect. Give it a nice mix. It's about four Calabrian chilies, and I was going to use my hands, but we have this thing. So. That's okay. Okay. Okay, right on. And then we roll it up into like a tube. We're gonna do some other things right now. Order of operations, I get it. <laughs> okay, so we got the compound butter all ready to go. We're gonna cut some of this, put it in the pan. Just a nice little slab of it. You were born to do this. Well. Mr. Hank. I Does love... anyone call you Mr. Hank? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, wow. It's a little similar to the, the Hanky the Christmas, Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh thing. Sorry. Oh, I'm we're sorry. Eating food over here. Sorry. So this right here is a little square of Wagyu picanha, kind of like a top sirloin situation. So we're just gonna take it and put it in some seasoned flour. I think you put too much butter in. No such thing, darling. No oh, such thing as okay. too much butter. Good to hear. So we're gonna put it in some flour, shake it off, put it in a little bit of egg, and then I'm just gonna let it rest in the panko because I want it to get really crispy and I want it to be fully saturated. Yum. Yum. I love that. Yeah, are you are you happy to be cooking? I'm fired up. Yeah. And I love everything you've done here. You do? It's, it's okay. Yeah. I think like you and I are like kindred spirits and oh. like and like maybe like like in another world we would have been like me and you doing a cooking battle versus Josh and Owen, but like in another way, you know what I mean? That's what we're doing. No, but like in another <laughs> way. No. This no. isn't crispy, but I'm taking it that's out. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. It's right. okay, honey, go ahead. Thank you. Do your thing. I'm She's just here to support nice to you. Me. I'm just here to support you and your dreams. 
How do you like being at a YouTube studio? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, you yeah. like it? It feels very professional. It makes yeah. us look like amateurs. There's like cubicles and people working and doing computer stuff. Yeah, we, we have like marketing teams. Isn't that crazy? Or they also had like the sweetest green room of all time. <laughs> it's like snacks laid out and uh, a book. And, and oh my gosh, books. Owen doesn't know what a book is. <laughs> Yo, Owen doesn't know. You could have named any one of the books in the group. Ernest Hemingway, oh the book. Go ahead and turn that off and pour some katsu on one side. Katsu on one side. And I'm gonna start frying this bad boy. And then do, do the borsen and cheese on the other side. Okay. This is what my mom eats at her like wine and cheese night. Oh yeah? yeah, that's nice. I'm a big Boris and cheese fan too. It's like fancy version of like the third grade cheese cups that you could eat during- You had cheese cups at your school? Not at my school, but you know like the sticks of like- No. Cracker that you stick in cheese. Come on. <laughs> um, Go ahead and add some shallots, tomatoes. Shallots over here. You can put tomatoes right on top of that. Okay. What about, I'm just gonna- Wow, fingers of steel. Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm practicing. <laughs> I'm just gonna plop this on top. Beautiful. Okay. Now go ahead and sandwich it. Do oh, that sandwich thing it? you do. You know the thing you do? The yeah. thing I like, yeah, I like the thing you do. Oh my God, he did it so nicely. <laughs> now go ahead and just cut off the edges so it's like a nice little beefy crustable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if I got too much steak off That's there. okay. How's the inside look? Pretty Ooh, good. she's a beauty. Pretty good. Yeah. It's like we're gonna eat the edges. Okay. Okay, just a little bit on the side, uh-huh. <laughs> it's like so much smaller than the original. That's okay. <laughs> Look at how much leftover. It's okay. There Beautiful. And then let's cut it down the center. Okay. So much tension. There you go. And now let's get our plate. Okay. Okay. And now go ahead and put it on there. We're gonna have to put it on a cleaner plate, but there's our sandwich. <laughs> she's beautiful. She's a beauty. Oh, she's perfect. Good job, Nicole. Thank you. Oh. Right there. Great. Do we have a secret handshake? Cause they did something. Give me your pinky. That's it. <laughs> Danny Palumbo, please open your eyes and view the sexy sandwiches in front of you, but do not get too aroused. Do not get too aroused, this is a family show. What's going on here? What? <laughs> what is that? Sandwich? Okay, well, if we're getting right to it, we'll explain our dish. We'll go first. This is me and Owen Hans. How's it going? Hey, nice, nice to meet you. you. The top sexy sandwich maker on TikTok and the sexy okay. sandwich maker on TikTok. This is a lamb vindaloo torta ahogada. Torta ahogada, drowned sandwich, favorite sandwich of all time. Uh, and so we have a like vindaloo sauce with a bunch of tamarind, a lot of that black mustard, fenugreek, all that in there. We have lamb carnitas that we actually stewed in the curry, then deep fried pickled watermelon rind, and then a pretty classic green chutney with habanero. Well, I forgot so many of those words. Dude, just this? Yeah, 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 me too. That, okay, so what do I, I'm gonna try this one yeah. first. Yes, as you should. What? Um, that wasn't <laughs> you want supposed to, to be in the, you want Am I supposed to be like a baby and like, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do a little. It's hot. Dude, that's good. Oh, it's very hot. It's good, that's good. So it's good, baby. Now it's hot. Okay, great. Like, I'm gonna, really, like, really wipe yeah, your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make eye contact with Owen when you eat it. <laughs> sure, yeah, I got it. All right, let's do, do it. One, please, be you, Danny. Hey, how you doing? That's great, Danny. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that is on Birote Salado imported from Guadalajara. Oh my God! <laughs> got him! Somebody hose me down. It's got tang, it's got fat, it's got heat. I mean, it has everything you want. The only thing I will say, it's a little messy. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be, but you know, I like to eat sandwiches and like, drive my car at the same time. You can, what, what about this? Man. I like that. Would prevent you from driving a car. <laughs> All right, you're just not taking enough risks so in your life, kidding. you know? I could be on the 405 and 10 interchange, slamming this down, weaving through Tesla's driving like a-holes, <laughs> crushing it. Okay, what do, what do we have uh, here? Hello, Danny, for All you, right. we have the Hanky Panko. It is a play his on a, Hank. yeah, his name, name is Hank. Oh, 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 by the way, this is, this is Hank. <laughs> Danny. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. He, for you today, we have the Hanky Panko. It is a play on a katsu sando. We have a picanha that has been fried with panko. We have a compound butter with Calabrian chili butter. We have a katsu-ish sauce with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, some miso braised tomato, and some fried shallots. Oh, also Borsen cheese, the sexiest cheese. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Dig in. I will. I'd make love to a hunk of Borsen. Yeah, that's a car sandwich for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> oh my god, that is also very good. Yes. I like this in a sandwich. I can like wave it around while I'm talking. Yeah, wave like back. that's what I no, want. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm waving this for days. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, but come on, you're gonna kill somebody. You with can that even thing. store this at people. This is like purely fat, and I really like that. And the Calabrian chilies are also like they're hot, but they're also like really tangy too. Like they have such a unique flavor mm -hmm. that I really enjoy. 
Um, wow. Yeah, all the way How in there. Sexy all way in there buddy. How sexy do you feel eating both of these sandwiches right now? I feel gross, actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fine line. The lamb fat Fine the whole line day. between like... gross and sexy. This, structurally, this is what I want in a sandwich. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I want to- Danny, where's the bread on the top? What happened to it? No, I really smushed it down there. Yeah, um, thank you, Danny. This is a little messy, but it has such a great flavor in the bun. The bun is excellent. The bun is, holds together so well. You can dip it in as much sauce as you want, uh, whereas the bun here like didn't really hold together as well. And also, I'm still chewing on the meat right now. <laughs> it's like I, I got a little bit of gum in my mouth right now. That's kind of nice, though. <laughs> it makes you think about it later, you know? Everlasting yeah, steak. Yeah. For all those reasons, this sandwich. Let's go! Hop on, baby! We're going all the way to Flavortown! We're going to Victoryville! Not to be confused with Victorville in the high desert of California! Terrible city! Don't go to Victorville! I appreciate you, Danny. Awesome. Owen, we did it, baby. I love Darcy. If I lose one more time, Oh, I can't uh, come back This to is what Nicole wanted the whole time. Um, I thought that was incredible. We killed it. It's all right. She's not that good of an actor. Uh, Owen, Hank, Danny, thank you so much for stopping by. Tell the people where they can find you. Uh, oh. <laughs> Me? Let's go down the line, Owen. <laughs> My name, Owen Hahn. Uh, on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I work here. Sports.com or Instagram, at Palumbros. Follow me. Sports.com. Uh, Sports. Salt underscore Hank. Uh, on YouTube, maybe link it or something. Oh yeah, we'll have links in the and, description. And That's the thing. Josh, yeah. our turn. Explain where people can find us. Oh, you can find us over at uh, Mythical Kitchen, the place where you currently are right now. We have a podcast called A Hot Dog Is a Sandwich. Um, Nicole's gonna start writing actually Owen and Salt Hank fanfic. So find her at archiveofourown.com. It's really y'all laughing. Y'all are sickos because you know what that means. And thank you all for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new videos out whenever. If you're not subscribed, click the bell, get notified notifications on so you can see all our new fun wacky guests like Owen and Hank and Danny. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Let's go. See y'all next time. A new mythical kitchen creature approaches. The pizza cock is here and available on a brand new apron. Come face to face with the mythical kitchen pizza cock apron now at mythical.com.